Welcome back to the Bluegrass. It's a beautiful January day, and uh, I'm sure the first thing you guys will notice is that uh, I'm inside rather than outside. <laughs> well, there's a reason for that. We are currently living in perilous political times uh, in our republic, and so we are practicing making videos from the safety of our bunker deep in the heart of the Bluegrass State. All right, so uh, our next series of videos will be made from an underground and undisclosed location, but uh, I think they're going to be high quality, so I hope you enjoy them nonetheless. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We're actually just up in my office and we have a litter of eight puppies. So we're going to do a new critical stages in puppy development video series for you. Uh, and uh, it's going to be really fun. First off, guys, I know that a lot of you, you don't really get much experience with little teeny tiny puppies. If you're buying a puppy, you know, you, breeders don't hardly let you visit anymore. And if you're getting a, you know, a puppy from a rescue organization or from the Humane Society or whatever, uh, they don't let you go back and see the puppies before they're old enough to have been vaccinated. So you really just don't get much experience as far as first-hand things, and it's not a lot on YouTube, so I thought I'd make you a new series. Okay, so in this video series, we're going to talk about two things. Number one, we're going to talk about, uh, you know, just kind of traditional ways to raise puppies and what to expect at a given age. And I'm going to kind of let you guys track along with YouTube since you probably don't get much of a chance to, you know, do that in real life. I think you'll get a kick out of it. And then two, we're going to talk about the military's biosensor program or what uh, later came to be known as a super dog program. Okay, so like where me and the cameraman are from... <laughs> Like the idea of puppies needing uh, environmental socialization or early neurologic stimulation, that's just a non-starter, right? Because old mama dog, she'd bury up under the porch and dig her a hole in the cool dirt, and she'd have 10 or 12 puppies, and, and every kid in the neighborhood would go under the porch and look at them and carry them around. <laughs> and then sometimes there'd be that one kid that the mama dog didn't like, and that kid would end up getting bit and run out from under the porch. But but some of the stuff, like, uh, you know, I'm 50, and some of the stuff over the years that I've seen dog breeders and dog trainers come up with. I just shake my head and cover my eyes. I'm like, what are they talking about? Okay. All right, but I'm going to do my best to kind of like give you both views. Uh, during this series, I'm going to let my kids drag these puppies around. Okay. But for those of you that are cringing, oh my gosh, Tony, you can't do that with the puppy. We're going to talk about <laughs> where some of that stuff come from. Okay. All right. So me personally, what do I think about early neurological stimulation? Hey, let your kids waller them puppies around and they'll be fine okay now let's talk about the biosensor program or the super dog uh, program that the military started in the 70s and uh, then like people kind of glammed uh, glommed onto it in the 80s and 90s a little bit and now only a few people do it so now if you research it on the on the internet like you'll see like like most things right you have a camps of pro you know biosensor and early neurological stimulation stuff and anti and one of the anti things of course comes from the you know the the can't do portion of our society. There's always a giant what you can't do. You can't go outside. You can't catch a cold. You you can't you you, you can't get within six feet of other people, or you're going to die. You know that can't do society. Oh, it's killing me, and it's getting bigger every day. So you have a lot of can't doers in the anti early neurological stimulation um, you know camp. I am a can doer. Okay, I'm a can doer. I drag these puppies around and, and just do fun stuff with them, you know, from the time they're a little bitty. And you're never going to convince me that I'm wrong because I've been seeing it happen since I was dragging puppies out from under, uh, uh, you know, old junk cars and porches and uh, truck caps when I was eight years old. Okay, all right. So, but let's talk about the specifics of, uh, of this particular video, which is the neonatal phase uh, or the neonatal period, which lasts from zero to 12 days. Okay, so right about here, I will, um, I'll put in a little bit of footage of uh, a puppy being born and the mom uh, breaking the sack open and uh, then stimulating the puppy. So what happens, these puppies, they're born, they come right out and they've got a sack around them, okay? And then the mom will start chewing that sack, sack away and uh, then they ultimately eat it. And like if you've got a little daughter running around. <laughs> Like the first few times she's around, first few weeks she's around litter of puppies, it's a whole series of, ah, what is she doing? That's so gross. Okay, because the mom like uh, is responsible for the hygiene of the whelping area. And it ain't like she's got a vacuum cleaner or a housekeeper, you know. She's got to clean all that up with her, with her face. Okay, and so that's one of the first things that you'll see that's weird. And I'll show you, uh, you know, maybe I'm showing you right now if I can get that up in the corner. Okay, but it's really super neat. And after you've seen it a couple of times, you go from being grossed out to being utterly amazed. Okay, so let's talk about what puppies do during the neonatal period. Uh, they don't do much, okay? What they do basically is they smell, they crawl, and they suck, 
in that order. Okay, so you've got the mom, and I'll throw some footage in uh, of that too. Uh, you've got the mom, and uh, like she's putting off uh, certain like chemical markers, and the puppies can smell that, and they move towards those chemical markers, and they're looking for uh, a place to nurse. Okay. Now, I mean, what's really you know kind of neat about puppies is that they can find that teat, uh, and they can nurse. Uh, but they're so undeveloped that they can't even eliminate yet. And where the elimination happens is when the mom licks them, okay? And so as I'm making this video, I will get pooped on probably at least once, okay? So don't gross out. Uh, but as the mom licks them, it stimulates their need to eliminate, and then the mom cleans that up by eating that waste matter, okay? So that's really neat. All right, so basically, if you have a puppy and it's 0 to 12 days, uh, what you're going to see is a puppy that smells, crawls, and sucks, and only responds to warmth, touch, and smell. Okay, and that's what we have here. Now let me give you a really close look at what a 12-day-old puppy looks like. Cameraman, can you zoom in on that? Is that a good spot? Pick it up a little bit. Okay, now this puppy is just old enough to start really whining and complaining. <laughs> Because it's fixing to enter into the next period, the transition period. Okay, all right, rear view, side view, front view. Okay, so now what do I think puppies need to do? I think they need to be wallered around by a bunch of kids, okay? Now, if you ain't got a bunch of kids, I still think that they need a lot of early neurologic stimulation, and so I'm just gonna kind of cue you in on what they did during the biosensor program. The biosensor program basically boiled down to five separate exercises. They would get puppies out, and they would spend a little bit of time fooling with their toes. They would take a Q-tip and kind of uh, fool with their toes. Like this, okay? I don't see any point in using a Q-tip, but if you want to, you can. And they would do it for brief amounts of time, like three to five seconds. I don't think that's enough time. Now, all the safety sallies out there are gonna be saying, oh, Stony, but what about overstressing the puppies? Look, like I said, I've been dragging puppies out from under porches for 40 years, and uh, I ain't ever seen any of them be overstressed yet, but, you know, do what you wanna do. Okay, now, so, uh, second exercise. They would hold the puppy up in what's called a head erect position, okay? And so you can do that. And what I like to add to that is what we call nose to the tip of the tail stimulation. So I go nose all the way down here and do it for counts. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Okay. Then they would take the puppy and they would lay it kind of like this. Okay. Head down position. One, two, three, four, five. Very nice. And then they put it in what's called a supine position. Okay. One, two. Now I'm adding the stroking. That wasn't part of the program. Two, three, four, five. Okay. And then they do what's called thermal stimulation. Okay. So I have a bag of ice right here. I'm going to put this puppy on a bag of ice. One, two, three, four, five. And then I have a heating pad right here. And put it on the heating pad. And now they usually settle right down when you put it on the heating pad because it feels good, right? Two, three, four, five, you know. And uh, during that program, they would just do that, I think, once a day. Uh, me personally, I don't think that's enough. Like I said, I ain't too worried about wallering puppies around, so uh, I think do it uh, you know, three or four times a day if you want to. At least do it once in the morning, once in the evening. All right, now, so for the rest of the video, uh, I won't talk so much. I'll just uh, cycle through all these puppies and let you see uh, how they all look. And then at the end, um, we'll weigh all these puppies. If the video's too long, I won't add that portion, but what I try to do every week with the puppies is I try to weigh them, okay? I mean, I'm pretty good at looking at puppies and telling whether they're, you know, thrifty or not. In other words, whether, whether or not they're making, uh, you know, good progress in terms of uh, growth. Uh, and most of the time, you can just kind of look at them. If they're full of uh, vim and vigor, then they're doing pretty good. But mm, just for research purposes, we like to keep track of their weight also. That way, if, uh, you know... Mm, Sometimes maybe not everybody is as good at looking at puppies and making those snap decisions. You can look back through your actual numbers and see if one of the puppies or two of the puppies is not gaining weight at the same pace as the rest of the litter. All right, here's puppy number two. We'll give you a look at her. Can you see her cameraman? Front view. Side view. 
rear view. All right, let's do our exercises. First thing we're going to do is uh, kind of fool around with their toes. You know, in all my videos, I'm always talking about uh, toes to nose stimulation. Well, we start that, guys, on about the third day. Oh, very good little toesies. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none. That takes about five seconds to say, right? Now, head in the erect position with my added nose to the tip of the tail. Stroke it. Two. Three. Four. Five. Very good dog. And then head down. Now with the head down, you can do it kind of like upside down a little bit if you want to, it doesn't really matter. Kind of re read your puppies. You know, some of them it upsets them a little bit more than others. Go to the supine position. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, thermal stimulation, Our bag of ice. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now, something that you'll notice kind of a trend. They make noise on the ice, it's kind of uncomfortable, okay? But that little bit of adversity, that's what makes them tough in the long run, okay? Now look, put them on the heating pad, and they usually calm right down. Because <laughs> who doesn't want to lay on a nice warm heating pad? Very good. All right, okay, and we're done. So we'll put this one back with their mom, mm, and get another puppy. All right, and uh, this little fellow is puppy number three, cameraman, show him what he looks like. There's a front view, and a side view, and a rear view, and uh, we'll start our exercises. So first we'll do our little piggies. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none. My gosh. Head in the erect position with a little stroking. So start at the nose, down the spine, to the tip of the tail. Two three, four, five. Okay, head in the down position. One, two, three, four, five. Supine position. One, two, three, four, five. Thermal stimulation. I watch them. <laughs> they always crack me up here. This guy's he started he growls at me usually. And listen. He's like, I don't like the ice, Tony. Uh, but watch. <laughs> He's still complaining. Watch, I put him on that heating pad though. And he usually calmed down pretty quick. Very nice. You good little chubby dog. All righty, now we have another little fine fella. He's kind of a little smaller than his brother. Uh, camera in front of you, side view, rear view, and uh, now we'll start our exercises. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none. Very nice. Head in the erect position. Nose to the tip of the tail. Nose to the tip of the tail. Three, four, and five. Head down. One, two, three, four, five. All right, supine. One, two, three, four, five. Thermal stimulation. One, two. Again, common element. They start moving on that ice. Three, four, five. Heating pad. Oh, calm down. That's very nice. One, two, 
three, four, and five. Oh, and you're all done. You're such a good little student. All right, now we have a little sister. Show them what she looks like, cameraman. I think she's gonna look just like her mom. Side view, rear view. All right, let's start our exercises. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none. Very nice. Head in the erect position. Nose, tip of the tail. Nose, tip of the tail. <laughs> Three, <laughs> four, and five. <laughs> yes, this one's gonna be just like her mom. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five. Very nice. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. You don't like this part. <laughs> two, three, four, five. I'm getting tickled. Okay, okay, just a second. Fussy? All right. Look at there. She's like, put me on the heating pad. Two, three, four, five. Maybe, a, is this a better? This is pretty good. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you guys, it's funny to watch their personalities because, like, it, the personality, it, you're really kind of born with it. That's just the way it is. Okay, here we have puppy number six. It's another little brother, cameraman. Can you show them the front view and the side view and the rear view? And we'll get started with our exercises. So this little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef and this little piggy had none. Nice. Now head in the erect position. Nose to the tip of the tail. Nose, tip of the tail. Three. Four, five. Okay, head down. Two, three, four, five. Mm, you tough guy. One, two, three, four, five. Thermal stimulation. Two, three, four, five. This dog's like my oldest son. My oldest son, <laughs> for whatever reason, he never got cold the whole time. We'd be, we'd be working dogs like uh, like it'd be ten degrees. He'd be out there in uh, you know t-shirts and lacrosse shorts. Crazy. Did not get that from me or his mom. All right, heating pad. One. Two, three, four, five. He settled right down into that heating pad. He's like, hey, I like that. All right, two puppies to go. All right, we have a little sister for puppy number seven. Uh, cameraman, show them the front view and the side view and the rear view. <laughs> She's feisty too. Okay, look here. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none. Oh my gosh. Head in the erect position. Nose, tip of the tail. Two, three, four, five. Head down. One, two, three. Four, five. Oh my gosh! One, two, three, four, five. All these little girls are kind of sassy. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh my gosh, and now for the good part. One, two, three, four.
four, five. <laughs> and again, settle right down on that heating pad. All right, and here we have puppy number eight. It's our last puppy. So cameraman, show them what this little girl looks like. Front view, side view, rear view. And let's do our exercises. All right, this little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roof beef. This little piggy had none. Head up, nose, the tip of the tail. Two, three, four, five. Head in the down position. Two, three, four, five. Supine. One, two, three, four, five. Thermal stimulation. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Now, again, this is the end of the neonatal period. Uh, if you look closely during some of those um, times when the cameraman zoomed in, you can see little slits where you can barely see these puppies' eyes. Maybe one or two of them had their eyes actually open, and that just happened today, so that's a really neat thing. My daughter will be super excited about that when she gets home. Uh, but up to today, this right here is what they've done. <laughs> They've just kind of been here, right? And then when they get hungry, their little sniffers go to working, and they go find their mom, and they latch on, and they get some milk, and then the mom licks them, and they eliminate, and the mom cleans that up. But these next two weeks during the transition period, everything's going to get super interesting, okay? So uh, what I'll have in store for you next week is uh, we'll still be working inside, but I'll bring some stuff in, and we'll start to expose them to other uh, environmental um, ty other types of environmental stimulation. We're going to put them in a box. Uh, we're going to put them on some different uh, textured surfaces, and uh, we'll just watch them develop uh, every week. And then we'll really start having fun when, they're, when it's time to take them outside and start going on puppy-sized adventures. All right. So uh, tell them bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you all later. Oh.